welcome to my channel. Welcome back, I guess, whatever. Whatever it is. Um, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. It's not a travel video, it's not a makeup tutorial. We are actually going to do a house tour. So I'm really excited. Um, Cole and I just closed on our first home probably about two weeks ago at this point. Um, and I am going to do an empty house tour. So um, I'm on my way to the house right now. Let's see, okay, I just pulled up, but I, I don't know, I feel a little bit uncomfortable with videos like this sometimes because I don't want it to ever come across like, ooh, look at what I have, like, this is my house, and like, you don't have it, like, it, it's not like that, I, so I'm a little bit nervous about posting a video like this in the first place just because I, I would never, ever, ever want to come across as, like, bragging or... I don't know or anything like that and it's not like this is like some multi-million dollar mansion i'm very well aware of that but i don't know i'm just i'm a little bit nervous about posting a video like that so i just want you guys to know if you're watching this that cole and i are very very grateful and feel very blessed to be able to buy a home at you know 22 23 years old um and so yeah i just want to put that little disclaimer there that this isn't meant to be um I don't know, bragging or anything weird like that. Stuff like that makes me super uncomfortable, so I feel like I should just some give this disclaimer. Okay, but now that that's out of the way, now I can get the fun stuff. Okay, so this is the outside of the house, and like I said, Cole and I have been in here. Well, Cole and I and our families both have been in here the past two-ish weeks, painting and cleaning and getting everything whipped into shape. So what you're gonna see inside is not what the colors were um and i guess like i said there's no furniture the house is completely empty um but yeah here is the front entryway welcome i'm gonna try to talk really fast one because i don't want this video to be an hour long and two because our sunlight is fading very very quickly there is the living room and again we have obviously painted everything but I apologize for the echoing. Um, no furniture in here, so yeah, it's gonna be <laughs> a little bit echoey. But um, we have a fireplace, which I'm super excited about. We're gonna do the couch, we're gonna get some chairs, some rugs, um, and yeah, this will be our living room. Then we have a hallway here, which is very exciting stuff. Um, but I think we're gonna do like a bench and coat hooks in this area. So people can sit down and put their shoes on, take their shoes off, and have their jackets, hats, whatever it is. Um, yeah. Then we can come in this way. This is our laundry room. It might surprise some of you guys, but laundry is like seriously one of my favorite things to do. So I'm so excited to have like a fully functioning laundry room. So this leads straight into the downstairs bathroom. We have, I mean, again, painted, but we've also replaced the bowl since then to a much more modern and much more kind of my style type of um, sink. But yeah, we have a shower down here, obviously. A walk-in shower. Um, yeah, this is the laundry room slash bathroom. And then they do have the pocket doors so you can have a little privacy. Um, and then this one, also has a pocket door, so we can kind of close off the laundry room if you don't want to see it. Next, we have the kitchen, um, which I am so excited about. I know I said I was excited about the laundry room, but I'm definitely looking forward to this kitchen. I'm not like a super big cook. Um, most of the time, I literally eat cereal for supper. Sorry, mom, she'd be disappointed. But I really feel like this having a kitchen like this might motivate me. I would appreciate it if I cooked a little bit more. Um, but you know, we'll see. I seriously have five plates and like seven forks. I don't know what I'm gonna put in any of these any of these cupboards, but I'm really excited to have them. So I have the double double oven, um, the nice big fridge, which has 
the essentials, Diet Dr. Pepper and water <laughs> right now. Um, but yeah, so the last bit of painting we really need to do in the house is this bad boy. It's gotta go. I do not, I do not like the green door. Um, so that still needs to get painted and I'm thinking it'll probably be like a white similar to the rest of the walls. And I'm also not a big fan of this backsplash, um, which don't come for me. Literally everyone I tell that to, they're like, oh my gosh, I love the backsplash. Yeah, it's not my style. Um, and so eventually at some point, I think I'm gonna be switching that for like a subway tile or something a little bit more modern, a little bit more my vibe, but, but yeah, that is the kitchen. So now we can head upstairs. So this is gonna be like the guest room. Um, a lot of the house is kind of one color. It's it's pretty a pretty open floor plan. So a lot of it just kind of flows and it kind of just been one color throughout everything. However, up in this room I wanted to add a little bit of something, a little something different, bring in some actual color into the house. So that's why we went with like this, I don't know, dark blue kind of navy color. Um, and I'm gonna do some like mustard accents and the pillow, then I have a mustard chair. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be, like I said, this is gonna be the guest room. Um, and one of the really like unique things, I guess, about this house is it has these, whoop, that's not very light. Like, it has all of these like little, I don't even know what you call them, like little nooks or whatever, um, that I think most people would be like, like what the heck, like what are you doing with that? But, Cole and I are going to get a little creative and figure out how to make these into spaces that actually make sense with the room and can actually like, be functional and usable. So I think a few of them are going to get like a, you know, a hanging rod, um, we're going to finish the flooring in them. Some of them might get like a recessed bookshelf, I don't know. Okay, so this is the upstairs bathroom, and this used to be like a lilac-y kind of purple, so that had, to, that had to go too. Wasn't doing it for me. Um, but yeah, this I, it's a bathroom. I don't really know what else to say. Um, it has like the, let's get to it, the tub, the, you know, the, I don't know, waterfall. Head on it, it has a toilet, it has a sink. It, it's a bathroom, I don't really know. So this is actually the master bedroom, which I'm not gonna be showing today for a number of different reasons. One, it's the one area of the house that we are actually doing a little bit of construction in. Um, and two, it's a complete disaster right now. So the rest of the house, like it looks pretty picked up because we spent hours um, cleaning and picking things up today. Um, but this room is still a complete disaster because like I said, there is a bit of construction going on. If you guys, you know, want to see that, I guess, let me know. Um, but yeah, I was not planning on showing you guys that today. Maybe in a different video when it's like actually finished, um, I can kind of give you guys a master bedroom tour. But yeah, this is school and room. So we can head outside. I'm a big stuff. Um, but yeah, this is the backyard, which it looks a little crazy right now. Um, and it's not for everybody, but I don't know, here it is. So, I mean, Cole and I have some big plans for out here as well. Um, but right now it just, it's kind of at the bottom of the list to do stuff out here. But as you can see, there's like virtually no grass. I mean, there are some, or I mean, there is some on the sides of the house, but there really isn't much grass back here. So we do have, you know, a few plans to get some grass back here, make it a little bit more like inviting. Um, but yeah, and the, the weed situation, just don't, don't, don't show the weeds. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, we need, we need a little bit of, a little bit of work out here. Okay, so I mean, I think that this kind of completes the house tour. Um, I feel like I went through it pretty quickly. Um, and like I probably mentioned throughout the video, like we definitely do have, you know, things we still want to change, things we're still working on. Um, and I didn't show you guys the master and I also didn't show you guys the basement, which is unfinished, but um, is huge. Like there's a really big basement. And so Cole and I do have plans to 
finish it, add, you know, rooms down there and stuff, but that won't be for a couple of years, so, um, but yeah, I, like I said, I hope you guys liked this video, it's a little bit different, definitely out of, like, my, my comfort zone, but I, I don't know, I just thought that it would maybe be fun. If you guys have anything you want to see, like, please, 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 please let me know. It would actually mean the world to me if you guys want to see decorating videos. If you want to see, um, you know, a furnished home, like, when there's actually things in it, another tour of it. Let me know if you want to see the master when that gets finished. Um, I don't care. Like, I'm literally down for anything. So, if you guys want to see it, please let me know. And I will, I will try to make it happen. So, um, yeah, I think that's much it like subscribe comment do all do all the things you know um and i'll see you guys in the next video